Consistency is one of the biggest things that people struggle with on their fitness journey, yet it's probably the main thing that matters the most and what's gonna take you the farthest. Let's talk about it. How do you stay consistent? It really is super important to know and to constantly be reminded of your why. Why do you want to work out? Why do you wanna show up? What is your goal? and how are you gonna get there? Why do you want to achieve this goal? And the thing is, you don't need to just have one one thing, one why, right? I feel like I pull a lot of different reasons to make a big why. <laughs> and I feel like having a lot of different streams also helps you wanna do it more. It gives you some motivation and helps keep you consistent. I find so much comfort in knowing that I am working on myself so that I never have to feel the way I used to and look the way I used to and act the way I used to. I didn't know it was possible to feel as good as I do when I'm going to the gym. I'm eating while I'm doing all the good things. I'm getting my sleep. I'm like truly genuinely practicing healthy habits. I feel like I have a long list of whys, but that's not a bad thing. It's almost like a lot of different streams to have motivation. I have a set of goals, of course, but I've also never really been a gym girl. <laughs> and I like it. I've never considered myself to be like someone necessarily strong. I've never been like weak. I did some sports growing up, so I was never weak, but I was never like the best. I never felt strong. After every good workout, I'm proving to myself that I can do more than I ever thought I could. I wanna take a few days off if I really need and not feel like garbage. And being consistent allows you that wiggle room. I want to keep up with this so that I excel in other areas of my life because I truly feel like it all plays together with kind of your health and good habits as the core. And when you're just on a roll, that fire keeps you going. Whether you feel motivated every day or you don't, because you're not going to. Because you need to constantly be reminded, it's super smart to do something like make it your lock screen. Put a sticky note on your mirror to remind yourself why you're showing up when you're brushing your teeth every morning. Write a note and put it on your coffee machine so every morning you wake up and you go make coffee, remember why you're gonna show up today. Maybe you have morning affirmations. You need to start your day with your why. I think that is crucial and just so important. Can make such an impact. Humans are creatures of habit. I love routine and I love habit and I think those things are something that really help you stay consistent because if you habit stack and you have a set routine where you do one thing then the next then the next then the next it helps you stay in line and it's harder to kind of just stray away. I look forward to my morning drink lineup every morning. First up is water and supplements. I've been taking the essential for women 18 plus by ritual. Supplements can be so overwhelming. These are a clinical backed multivitamin. They're formulated with high quality nutrients to just help fill common like diet gaps. They're vegan, non-GMO, product verified, gluten-free, major allergen-free, and they don't even have extra colors, artificial dyes, things like that. They're basically just designed to support foundational health, brain health, bone health, blood building, and antioxidant support. A big thank you to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. They like smell minty, so they're really nice to have in the morning. I was so interested in these because they're actually third-party tested. I feel like that's rare in the supplement world. It's not even industry standard to do that. And the essentials for women 18 plus specifically specifically is backed by university led clinical study and they look so interesting because they have a delayed release capsule design so they dissolve later in the small intestine which is an ideal place for nutrient absorption and they're very gentle on the stomach so you can take them without food and all the ingredients are traceable so you know exactly what's going in your body and where it came from i do feel like i try to eat a pretty well-rounded diet but sometimes even with a good diet some nutrients are just hard to get enough of from just your food so it's nice to kind of just have like an all-in-one good foundational supplement and one that I just feel good about. You can get 30% off of your first month using my code MorganGreen30 and the link will be in the description box or you can use the QR code as well. Next up is a greens juice. Just makes me feel good. It's extra veggies. It's part of routine. You know the drill. And third and my favorite part in the lineup is of course protein coffee. Sticking to a routine is amazing. However, you need to make working out, eating healthy, those type of things part of your routine in a way that's easy and convenient. I'm casually quoting Atomic Habits here, but remember you have to make this work into your current schedule because if you change your current schedule to incorporate, like working out for example, you're so less likely to do it. Say you have a daily routine and you have an opening here or you're able to wake up earlier, these days whatever, by sticking workouts in where they fit and not changing other things, it's so much more convenient, it's easier, you're way more likely to do it. Make it easy so that you can make it stick. Remember, if you have a set routine that you don't want to veer 
off of. There's way less room for error. You're minimizing those mistakes. You're minimizing the slack. And after so long that you practice this and you stick to it, it just becomes second nature. And your routines can evolve. Don't get me wrong, I've changed so many routines in the past few years, but especially for the beginning, this helps so much with consistency. Also remember, change is hard. Like change is hard for anybody. So if you're changing your routine and making it harder and incorporating something that's hard, any type of fitness journey is hard, it's gonna be 10 times harder. <laughs> it's gonna stick way less. I do believe your morning matters. It sets your tone. I love mornings. I am a morning person, but for the longest time, it was hard for me to work out in the mornings. I've been getting better. At it by the day but when you set out to do something hard in the morning number one it proves to you right away that you can do hard things and number two once you do something really difficult in the morning the rest of your day feels like a breeze whether you're a morning person or not a successful morning can really create a successful day not to say every morning needs to be perfect we'll get into that more I have such a sweet tooth so a little sweet drink is fun to look forward to post-workout and I have some good meals planned for the day which also just keeps me on track keeps me looking forward to things they're both tasty but but like good for me. I'm just trying to line up all the different aspects. Keep me on track. They call it track for a reason, you know, like you're on a path, stay on that path. And that involves a lot of different things. Something that helped me a lot in the beginning was a way of tracking my progress. You can track your progress in all sorts of ways. Progress pictures, a diary of how you feel, maybe even a video diary so you can really look back and see all your real and raw feelings. Taking note of your energy levels. If it's easier and easier for you to start waking up earlier in the day if that's your goal. Any way of tracking your progress can show you just how far you're coming, especially on days where you don't feel like you're making any progress because you're gonna have a lot of those days. I'm a big anti-scale girly. <laughs> if you want to weigh yourself, that is totally your choice. But especially if you're someone with a muscle building goal, the scale is stupid, <laughs> in my opinion. But there's so many more ways to track your progress that you might not realize. I'm a really big fan of taking notes of your energy levels, how you felt every day. Were you happy? Were you sad? Did you have motivation? Or maybe did you not at all? Because remember, you're going to feel so much better before you start seeing physical results. And I think that's something you really have to rely on because it's so easy to be consistent for a week or two, look in the mirror, not see any differences and just want to give up. But if you're reflecting back on the differences and how you feel, you know that you're making change. Whether you're looking at your notes from day two to day 20, or you're just thinking about the roller coaster you've been through so far and how maybe on day four you felt no motivation but on day six you felt a ton of motivation and on day 12 you woke up without even snoozing your alarm little wins like that are huge it's making progress and you're slowly and slowly changing your life and knowing that this is happening and remembering those changes are something that's going to help you stay on track keep you showing up and keep you consistent. Gym burnout is a real thing. If you notice yourself getting bored, you gotta change it up. What can you do to either hype yourself up, make your routine more exciting, or how can you change your workout so you enjoy it more? Something I've done that I think is one of the biggest things and smartest things lately is I've gone away from doing the same workout every day, even though I still enjoy that workout, and I've completely switched my strategy. I used to be a big 12, 3.30 girl every single day, and I still love it. I've talked about this so much recently because it's been such a big part of my life, but I've been so much more into weight training lately and it's so fun and I like it because I do a different thing every day because you're not going to train the same muscle groups every single day right but so Monday's workout so different from Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and that keeps me engaged it keeps me excited because there's so much change even though I do the same thing week to week I don't do the same day to day and that's a big difference I definitely feel like I'm pushing myself a lot harder these days in a good way <sighs> Like, I think I'm doing as much as I can, lifting as much as I can, and it's, it's really keeping me in it. Like, I just wanna do more, and I wanna do more because I'm really into what I'm doing, and I feel like I'm at a stage where I'm learning so much, and it's just keeping me so engaged, and that's another thing that just helps me show up, is like, I'm doing as much as I can, so like next week, what if as much as I can is even more? <laughs> or knowing I'm pushing it as hard as I can, I'm not like leaving anything on the table, like I just, it keeps me engaged, it really does. I'm also excited, because come the new year, I'm gonna be in a gym and I want to follow a plan and I think that's something that's really gonna help me I can't speak from experience yet because I haven't done it but I think this is a great recommendation to follow a plan if you don't have a plan to stick to it's probably easier to fall off or if you're following a plan that's you know maybe four days a week in the gym you want to be able to cross off every single workout right if you have a plan for every day it's so much harder to not show up than if you just say like I'm gonna work out today no not I'm gonna work out today you have to say oh I'm doing this exercise this exercise 
exercise this exercise because I'm training these muscles today. Like it's just, the more specific you get, I feel like the more you feel like you need to do it, you need to complete it, you need to show up, and guess what? That's all about consistency. You're showing up more, you're wanting to do it more, you're following something, so you're giving yourself something to do. You're not just saying you're gonna work out because that's just way too general and it's easy to slack off then. It makes it so much more exciting and you need a little excitement in this journey. You need a lot of excitement in this journey. <laughs> something else you need is to accept the fact that you are not gonna be motivated every single day. No. Maybe not even every single week. This is where that discipline comes in and the more you're consistent, the more you're gonna develop self-discipline, the easier it's gonna be. I promise, just like with anything, the more you do this, the easier it gets. Week one might be really exciting because it's new. Week two, you're settling in, it might start to get really hard because you're like, hey, what I'm what I'm doing is actually hard and I have a long road to go. You might feel like your goal's just so far away, but when you push through it and you get to that week 10, week 11, week 40, <laughs> whatever, things just feel different. Showing up, doing the actual exercise, the knowledge, things are just different. And that progress, I think, really helps with consistency. But you need to give yourself grace and you need to accept the fact that, hey, you're gonna feel tired, you're gonna feel unmotivated, you're gonna not wanna do it. But those are the days where it matters most to show up. And when you prove to yourself, hey, I really didn't wanna do it today, but I went anyway, you can do anything. And when it's that day and you really don't wanna show up, make yourself do 10 minutes. Whether you put on some workout clothes and you start stretching, you start walking, whatever, do something for 10 minutes and usually after that 10 minutes goes by, you will commit to a full workout or a longer workout or you'll realize it's not that bad. The hardest part is starting, you just have to get going. And if you need to give up after 10 minutes, maybe that's a sign. Maybe you really shouldn't be doing it today, that's okay. But just tell yourself 10 minutes and see what happens. I also think, just like within life, you need to reward yourself and celebrate small wins. Whether it's progress changes you've tracked, physical differences, or just, hey, I've done this for a full week. Hey, I've done this for a full month. Whatever it is, celebrate small wins. Whether you're treating yourself to some sort of treat or you buy yourself that new workout set, celebrating doesn't always have to be food. I just feel like that's the first thing we think of is like, ooh, a little treat. But then again, a little treat is fine. <laughs> celebrate all your wins. Because remember, this is hard. No matter where you are, where you want to be, this is hard. Off of that, remember that one little treat is not going to ruin all of your progress. In the grand scheme of things, this journey is months, years, and so long in the making. You have a cookie on one random day, it's not going to ruin everything for you. That being said, if you either treat yourself or have a mistake or whatever, like go outside of what your goals are and indulge on something, remember number one, balance is good for you and it's only going to make this journey sustainable but number two it's not gonna ruin your whole day I also think balance is kind of a key to consistency even if you feel like you've messed up you have the ability to turn the day around it is fully your choice having one mistake or one whatever you don't need to throw the day around because what are we not gonna do? We're not gonna have the all or nothing mindset. We're not gonna be either zero to 100, perfect or horrible. Because starting off slow and allowing for those things is how you're gonna completely change your lifestyle and make this last forever. Because this journey is forever, if you didn't know. It is hard and it does take time to find what balance means, but celebrating your small wins, allowing for mistakes or whatever every now and then, not letting something like that ruin your day, and kind of finding that balance of all the good and the healthy things, whatever, mixed with the not so healthy things. This is only gonna contribute to you being able to show up every day and making this last long term. And what does that mean? That means that you're able to be consistent. Because consistent is doing something over and over and over again. And you're gonna show up over and over and over again when this is balanced and this is turned into a sustainable lifestyle. It's all about sustainability. Sustainability and balance are like the keys to being consistent. My three favorite words basically. <laughs> balance, sustainability, and consistency. Yeah. Don't underestimate how much having a group or accountability partner can help. I used to work out with my boyfriend every single day and I don't really anymore because we just have different schedules, which is fine. However, he knows if I've worked out or not. And he knows this is something I want to do and want to hold myself to. So just knowing that someone else can see if I'm not doing what I say I want to do or not showing up just puts a different kind of pressure, a good pressure, but a different kind of pressure on you. Also, there's so many groups on like Facebook or even 
even other people in these comments to talk to people about and get someone to hold you accountable and you can hold someone else accountable. It is hard because this is a very vulnerable thing and maybe you don't want to share all the details with someone close in your life. That's okay, but there are so many online groups and different things like that. I really suggest you look into one. And I do believe a successful day starts the night before. The littlest things to set up your day can make the world of a difference. I have to go to bed with a clean kitchen. Some days I don't, right? But when I wake up and I go do my little water, supplements, greens, coffee, whatever, my kitchen is clean, my head feels clean and I feel more relieved. I just, it's just how it works. Or so many people that work out in the morning set up their clothes the night before. It's the littlest thing. It takes you two minutes at night. But when you wake up, you know how fast time moves when you wake up. And sometimes when you're tired, you just need to be given a path and just kind of robotically do things. If you prepare the night before, it's just so much easier. It's setting yourself up for success. And all of that just helps you get to where you wanna be. It helps you show up and what does that lead to? it makes you consistent. So many of these things are not new and they're not groundbreaking, but sometimes you just need to be reminded and you need to be told over and over and over. Like I said in the beginning, consistency is probably the most important thing to achieving your goals, yet it's probably one of the biggest things most people do struggle with and that's okay. No, you're not alone and that it's hard and this whole thing is a roller coaster, but you can incorporate so many of these tips in so many different ways to accommodate your lifestyle and get you on that track to reaching your goals. If I start showing up every single day, where am I gonna be in one month? Where am I gonna be in six months? A year? You could be a completely different person. How far could you really go? Why don't you start now and find out? Start showing up for yourself because you do deserve it. And Ritual is there to help you feel good every day too. Again, Ritual is offering you 30% off during your first month with my code MorganGreen30. Scan the QR code or visit ritual.com slash MorganGreen30, which will also be in the description box today. Thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring this video. And thank you so much for watching. I am always rooting for you. I love you. You can do it. Please subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in my next one.